Greetings, Automotive Collector here, bringing you a special Black Friday report. I just went out this morning, picked up, we hit a few retro game shops, and I'm going to brief you on what I found. I got a big old bag here. I'm just going to reach in at random, pull out various games, till we hit the bottom. No comments from the peanut gallery, please. Well, first up on the Nintendo 3DS, Mario and Luigi. Dream, Dream Team. Let's see. Street Fighter Collection on the PS1. Featuring Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter Alpha 2 Gold, and Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Super Mario All-Stars on the SNES. I don't know how long I've actually been looking for this one. I just... Every time I found it, I always found something more important to pick up. So I finally got around to get nabbing it. Let's see. Speed Devils on the Dreamcast. <laughs> A bizarre little racer. Another 3DS. Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Uh, Worms Armageddon on the Sega Dreamcast. Pac-Man World on the PS1. That was a special request from my wife. Now this is one. Revolution X. The Aerosmith rail shooter from the mid-90s. <laughs> I actually have a complete arcade cabinet for this one. Which hopefully in the future I'll be able to film restoring it up. Getting it back up and fully operational. Next up. Pod. Speed Zone on the Dreamcast. And on the Sega CD, Round Zero Texas. Let's see. We got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eighteen more to go. My daughter wanted this one Ultimate I Spy on the Nintendo Wii. And we got Dino, Dino City on the SNES. Oh, grab two. Both NES. Infiltrator and Off-Road. On the PS2, Graffiti Kingdom. This is a bizarre one, to say the least. I'm going to be posting this one up on, my on the channel later on once I figure out the mechanics behind it. Alright, Star Wars Shadows of the Empire on the 64. Back to the SNES for Super Putty. I never even heard of this one, so I just picked it up because it sounded like it would be a corny one. On the PS2, The Warriors. If you've never played this, give it a good shot. This one will also be featured very soon on the channel. We got Jet Force Gemini, a staple rare title. Hexen, and Perfect Dark, another great rare title. All on the 64. Let's see, we got, this is another one I hadn't, hadn't even heard of, Kablooey by Kemco. That's going to be a fun one on the Super Nintendo, I have a feeling. Either that or going to be really lame. Either way, you'll find it. And then, I don't know how I'm going to manage to record this one. I, I love Atlas games. But Crimson Gem Saga on the PSP. If I can figure out how to stream that off, I will. Well, it looks like we're hitting, trying to hit the bottom of the barrel here. On the Sega Genesis, Comic Zone. If you want an infuriating Rage Quit title, try this one out. <laughs> Turok 2, Seeds of Evil. <laughs> Cranial Boar. Another one that I've been meaning to pick up forever and a day and just never had. GoldenEye 007 on the 64. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Odd job was such a pain in the neck. Literally. <laughs> and then we got Knife Edge Nose Gunner. Looks like a, a helicopter attack game on the 64. And hey, I found the bottom of the bag. Finally, Forsaken 64. 
And that is that wraps up my Black Friday sale. You can look out for any of these games. If you want to see a particular one played on the channel, go ahead and leave a note in the comments. If you want to see other games or maybe a tour of my media room, let me know in the comments. This has been Automata Collector, signing off.